Now in your calculator, you can have three units of angles that the degree, gradients, and radians, huh? okay? Now for degree, the angle for a complete circle is 360 degree or a quarter of a circle is 90 degree. And for gradients, uh, the angle for a complete circle is 400 gradients or uh, a quarter of the circle is 100 gradient. And for radians, the angle for one complete circle is 2 pi radian and a quarter of a circle is pi over 2 radian. So these are the three units that we can use in our calculator. Angle input. So now let's see how do we input angles with different unit in our calculator. Um, let's start with degree. Yeah? Okay, let's switch on the calculators. Now by default, uh, the unit is degree. Okay, the unit is in degree, and then this one is in degree. So if the unit is degree, and then uh, what we want to key in is degree, then it's very straightforward. So uh, this is cos. So cos 25 uh, degree, and then so 15 minutes, and uh, 43 seconds. Okay, and then close brackets equal. So we use these buttons to key in the degree, minutes, and seconds, eh? okay, if the units is in uh, degree, okay. How about uh, radians, eh? okay, so this is in radians. So let's clear the screen first. Eh? Now we can see that uh, the units of angle is still degree. Eh? So if the units that we set is degree, but we would like to uh, key in radians, so what should we do, okay, so let's say... Uh, let's start with cos. Eh? So cos pi. Eh? Pi is here. So shift pi. Okay. Now this is in fractions. Eh? So let's use the fractions buttons. So fractions. This is pi over 4. So pi over 4. And then let's move the circle to the right and then close the bracket. Okay. Now if we do not tell the calculator that this is radian, then the calculator will take this as degree, okay? So we need to tell our calculator this is not degree, but radians. And then so we can use this button here, DRG. D stands for degree, R stands for radian, and G stands for gradient. So we use this button here to tell our calculators what's the units of the angle, okay? So shift uh, DRG. Okay, so we have three uh, options here. The first one is degree, the second one is radian, and the third one is gradient. So in this case, uh, this is radian, so we choose two. Eh? Okay, so we can see this little R here shows that uh, this is radian. So now we close the brackets and equal. Eh? So this is the answer. Okay, so that's how we tell our calculator this is radian and not degree. Okay. The answer given is in fractions, and if we would like the answer be, uh, to be displaced in decimal uh, places, then we use, use this as the buttons, okay? Let's see another example, cos 61 gradient. So let's clear the screen first. So we have cos 61. Again, we need to tell the calculator that this is gradient but not degree because uh, it's set to degree. Uh, so we use this uh, DRG buttons, shift DRG. Now these times we tell our calculator that this is gradient. So three and then uh, close brackets equal. Eh? So this is the answer. So this is how we input angles in our calculators with different units by using this uh, DRG button. So let's clear the screen first and then shift uh, set up and let's say we change it to radians eh? Radians, okay now this has been set to radian, but we would like to find cos 45 degree so cos 45 okay now this time we need to tell our calculator that this is degree but not radian so we need to use this DRG buttons shift uh, DRG and then so one eh? Okay, so uh, this is in degree, so close bracket and uh, equal. Eh? 
So the answer is given in uh, fractions, and if you would like it to be displaced in uh, decimal places, then we click on this button, the so SD button, so the answer is given in uh, decimal places. So that's how it works. Angle output. Let's say we would like to find the angle for this arc sign 0 0.6789. Let's switch on the calculators. And then we can see that the default angle is uh, degree. Yeah? Okay, so arc signed, so shift signed, uh, zero point six seven eight nine, close bracket. Okay, so uh, the answer is forty two point seven five seven seven four four eight five degree. And if we would like our answer to be displaced in degree, minutes, and second, then we can tap on these buttons. Okay, so now the answer is given in degree, uh, minutes and seconds. And if we would like our answer to be given in radian, let's say, so then we need to go to the setup, shift, setup, and then uh, so we choose number four, okay, four. And then so now you can see that uh, the angle has been set to radian. And then when we click equal, okay, so this is the answer given in radians. Okay, and let's say we would like our answer to be displaced in gradient. So what can we do is we go to the setup again, shift, and then setup. Okay, so these times we choose number five, uh, gradients, and then equal. Okay, so this is the answer given in gradient. Okay, so that is how we uh, select our output uh, for an angle. Converting angle. Let's say we would like to change uh, an angle from degree to radian. We have 43 degree, 27 minutes, 16 seconds, and we would like it to be displaced in radians. Okay, um, if we would like the answer to be given in radian, then we need to change the default angle from degree to radians. Eh? Okay, so shift, uh, set up, and then choose number four. Eh? Okay. So now uh, the answer is in radians, okay. So then we key in this, uh, 43, 43 degree, 27 minutes, 16 seconds. Okay, now the angle has been set to radian, so we need to tell our calculator that this is not radian, this is degree, and to do this we go to shift this uh, DRG and then we tell it, okay, this is degree. Yeah? So degree, then you can see that we have this, uh, uh, this a little O here, okay? So it shows that this is degree and then uh, we tap on equal, uh-huh. So this is the answer given in radians. Huh? So 43 degree, 27 minutes, 16 second is equal to 0 0.7584 radians, okay? Let's see another example. Eh? So we have 1.462 radian, and then we would like to change this to degree, okay? So let's clear the screen first. Okay, now if we would like to change the angle to degree, then we need to uh, set it back to degree. Eh? Now it's in radians. Eh? So shift, set up, and then uh, let's choose degree, eh? number three, degree, okay. So now we key in this uh, number 1.462, 1.462. Okay, now we need to tell our calculator that this is radian, not degree. So let's go to the shift uh, DRG and then uh, choose number two. So this is 1.462 radian and equal. Okay. This is the answer, and therefore uh, 1.462 radian is equal to 83.7664 degree. So this is how uh, it works, how to convert uh, the units of an angle to another. If you prefer to give your answer in degree, minutes, and seconds, then you can tap on this degree, minutes, and seconds, and then OK. Then the answer will be changed to uh, degree, minutes, and seconds.